I distinctly recall a couple of months ago, the governess told Jaguar, do not get back on my live. If you show your face up in here again, it's going to be trouble. Well, guess what? Jaguar, being hard-headed, showed her face up on the, on the governess live. And she couldn't believe it. She just kept laughing. She said, what in the world is wrong with Jackie? And she called her government full government name, honey. You know, like how Jaguar likes to call people's full government name? That's what she did with Jaguar. And then she commenced to swirl in her hand, and she said, you want to play in my face? Play on my top? All right, we're going to see about that. And honey, she was casting spells. She was not holding back. Hands swirling, all kinds of pointing and and swirling and I said, oh my goodness, I've never seen anyone cast a spell before, but this, this looked kind of authentic because her eyes was rolling and she was laughing and saying all kinds of stuff. I said, Jaguar, you in trouble, girl. You better go get some holy water or go down there to the high priestess, the last, where you and Legino went the last time on Genesis or wherever this, uh, this healing man is, you better go down there and get you some protection, child, because the governess was not holding back. But before we get into the video, can you guys hit the like bell? And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so as yet. So her name is Miss Dean, and her channel is A Walk With The Ancestors. And if you haven't checked her out as yet, go over there and support her. Give her a thumbs up, subscribe, and check out her videos. Now let's get into this video with what the governess had to say to Jaguar. Wait, wait, oh Jag girl, I can't even take you serious. Jag, your life gives to me, do you know that? Jaguar. <laughs> Bitch, your whole life gives to me. So she's laughing because she could not believe Jaguar showed up again, although she told her not to come back. So she said, your life give stupid. Everything about your life is stupid. Girl. Girl, what didn't happen? What didn't happen? Why would you be asking me about your husband, ma'am? Guys, this video came out two days ago. Jaguar was asking governess about her husband, allegedly. Now, the question is, why is she going for a reading about Goomba? Is she thinking that she and Goomba are going to be back together? And maybe she should not further this relationship with TJ or take it to the next level? That's what I'm thinking of. Drop your comments. What do you guys think? Why would you be, ma'am, why would you be asking me about your husband? That's your husband, ain't it? You got a wife, too, now, don't you? Ma'am, your life gives too big. What is it that you want, Jackie? Little Jackie, she wants to be a star. Girl, let me play that for you. At this point, the governess put on a song named, I think it's named Little Jackie because it keeps repeating Little Jackie. And it says she wants to be a star. So the governess played that while she was beginning to put spells on Jaguar for her downfall. Let me play them. Let me play that for you. Girl, what do you want? Gray hair. Ooh. <laughs> oh, what you dreaming of? Oh, oh. Listen, I can't pay you for your comedy skit. Girl, listen, you keep floating this same shit talking about Mo3 is mad. He needs to free himself. You know who else should free himself? You from that cow's stomach. That cow's tongue. You 
should. So things can go right. <laughs> Little Jackie, she wants to be a star. <laughs> Hey, how is TJ doing? Did somebody get Sean Davies way <laughs> Girl, go lay down before I call Sean Davies way and tell him you was over here. That's what that was. It is Poppington. That's what they were. That is what they were. Give Sean his money back. Hair flip. Somebody call Sean Davies way and tell him that little <laughs> the little Jackie is over here her flip is Poppington <laughs> look look Jackie <laughs> oh, look girl he will have his he will have his revenge. You know who else gonna have their revenge? <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> Jack. Suzette Wright Johnson. Can we still call you Johnson? Should I call you? Just call you TJ. That's what I'm gonna call you. Hey, didn't you put me on notice of something? Hmm. What is you gonna do? I am waiting. Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bitch, go play. You should go play now. But it's still an option. So governor said jail destruction so do you guys think that she's gonna go to jail anytime soon drop your comments i'd love to know don't forget to hit the like bell Oh, guys, I could be wrong, but I think that was a lion sound or some type of animal. Let me play it again. Things will go bad for you now. I can't. See? Damn it. <gasps> Destruction. Jackie. Jackie. <laughs> 
So at this point, Jaguar signed off. She was gone. And the governor said, where did you go? Come back. No, get back here. <laughs> Just like you for breakfast. Fucking clown. <laughs> I got to clean up this house, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. So at this point, Governess put on one of Jaguar's song. I think the name of the song is Blame It On Love. And then she took her glasses off because she was really getting into the chanting now. She started with the hand language and the signs and the swirling and the blowing, like if you're blowing darts, all of that was involved. And I couldn't, can't, cannot play the song because YouTube do not permit you playing other people's songs, right? But Governess got into it, and she cast several spells on Jaguar. Every time she blew that dart, that was a spell. And she must have blew it about six times. I said, Jaguar, girl, run for cover. Go wash yourself in holy water or something because this woman is serious. She said it's going to be destruction for you and jail. That's what she sees. Guys, you know, when the hoodoo voodoo people start casting spells, they got to have a personal object of yours. Well, the governor, she had Jaguar song playing. And as she was singing, the governess was casting the spells on her. I said, man, this woman is not playing. <laughs> All kinds of strange songs were coming out of her. I'm telling you, I was scared. I was scared for myself. Forget about Jaguar. I almost cut this whole thing and just shelve it and, and call it a day and a wash. I almost didn't even complete the video. Because you guys know it doesn't take much to scare me, okay? You say, boo, I'm running for the hills. 
hell, I don't even like to see my own shadow because I think it's after me. Oh, Jack. Guys, and that was the end of the casting of the spell on Jaguar Ride. This is the second time Governess has cast a spell on her. The first time it was for Goomba. And she said she was going to use the black mustard seed for Goomba to get away from Jaguar. From since that time, Goomba has been gone. As a matter of fact, Goomba phoned in to the Governess and she gave them advice. Let's take a listen. <laughs> so, what up, Cozy? What up, Sh Shalentia? Sh Shalentia? Bacon? It's amazing. So, um, he clicked off. He got off. He was like, I'm done with you or whatever. Um, and he got off the live. As soon as he got off the live, he called me. And I'm, he, I'm like, he said, is this Quatina? And I said, Goomba? He's like, yeah. I said, I don't know if you remember me and I don't want you to be scared of me. He's like, I'm not scared of you. I was like, oh, okay. I said, I wanted to talk to you. He was like, I said, but I don't know if I have even, if I have the right to even ask you for an interview, but I would like to sit and talk to you. And he was like, we can talk right now if you want. And I'm like, yeah, that's cool. So I was driving and we talked and I just told him like, you need to stay away from Jackie because Jackie is trying to unalive you. And he said, no, I know. I know she is. He said, she's trying to use the gun that I bought to kill me with. And I said, you have to like keep your distance i said because she's setting the play because she's so deep in her feelings and in her emotions but what i didn't tell him was but i gotta say it because i got to say it on here goomba's jaguar's husband i binded all three of them goomba and Lagina and jaguar together and put them in that cow's tongue i did a whole bunch of shit when i tell you i got busy on this bitch i got busy on her that's why see when i binded him i binded him away from her and it's driving her crazy and i put the black mustard seeds in it you know black mustard seeds could causes confusion and scrambles the brain bitch i put egg but i ain't gonna tell you everything i did anyway i did see that i binded them all three of them but i binded him away from her it's driving her the fuck it's driving her the fuck crazy, but Quatita's work don't work. I heard you, heard you. I know, it doesn't, sure. But it's driving her crazy. I said, listen, you got to stay away from her. I said, I would not be myself if I did not call you and warn you and tell you because I, the bitch is to going loco. It's working better than what I thought. <laughs> It's working better than what I thought. He looked like it's working better than what I thought. Now, I said, listen, I gotta be honest with you, Goomba. I said, I thought you was gonna f***ing you know, on Legina. He said, no, that's Sam. Legina is working with Sam. She's been working on his ass since she got there. I said, what? He said, yes. I said, Legina's trying to knock Jack off Goomba. I said, she's trying to knock her off to become her in some way. He said, yes. Yes, she is. I keep saying it. I said, you know what I'm talking about? He said, yes. I said, you got to stay away. He said, I'm done with her. I am done. I said, good. Because I don't know what the bitch is capable of. I don't, listen, I went to work on this bitch. I did. I went to work on her. 
Well, from since that time, when she and Goomba had that conversation, Goomba has stayed away. He left Jaguar, and he stayed away. And Jaguar is still trying to get him back. I guess she must have called the governess to maybe get her to lift that spell. Because Jaguar believe in all that stuff. If you believe in that stuff, it's going to work on you. But my work don't work, so I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. But I did a whole bunch of shit. I did. I, I went to work. I went to work. And it, went, it ain't even just what I put in it. It was the words I spoke. It was my intention. It was the way I, I the process of what I did. It, it's a lot. Um, and she's losing her shit. So, Legina did a video Sunday. My Jaguar was smoking a whole bunch of cigarettes and cooking steaks and probably dumping ashes in the steaks without knowing it. And I would have never ate that shit, but never mind. <laughs> and so, at the end of the video, okay, at the end of this video, she's asking Legina for some money. Right? Um, listen, so Legina's doing it live, and Jaguar's like, I need to go across the street and get something for $5 a surprise, but I don't have any money. You got $40. So, yeah, the $40. So she keep asking her if she got $40. She's like, You got it on your cash app. Now, watch my face. This is Legina the whole time. This is how I know. Shit is about to go down, bro. She say, yeah. <laughs> Jack say, you got it on your card? Yeah. Jack say, but, like, can I, how can I do it? Because, like, can I just sign for it? Because I don't know your pin code. Yeah. <laughs> So then Jack say, well, where's your card at? But Gina cut her eyes over there at her and ended the live. I said she gonna kill this bitch. <laughs> she gonna unalive this bitch in any moment. Jack thinks she's doing something. You can't play a player. You can't slick a can of oil. That bitch is slicker than duck shit on a doorknob. You understand me? I told Goomba, I said, no, Legina's not who people think she is. He said, she's not. I keep trying to tell people. I said, I know. I said, this bitch is a manipulator. He said, it is. I said, you got to stay away from her. Because she's going to unalive you. She's setting up the play. She's telling all of these things. I said, the way she called and said, oh, you got a gun. And you, you, y'all you, just really just trying to kill my husband. Y'all are hoping that he does this and that so y'all can really just take him out. She's really telling you what the f*** she wants to happen to him. She's hoping that she is causing. When I tell you this, bitch, listen, I'm about to tell you something. I told you the bitch is a manipulator and a fucking, like, hypnotist in some way. Like, whatever you want to call it. She is trying to implement that thought. So that's what they will do. She is telling you, and she is hoping that she tells everybody enough that somebody who really genuinely loves her will go and take care of it so she doesn't have to. He said, I know it. I said, stay away from her. He said, I am. I said, you know, you got my number. If you ever need me, call me. He said, I do need you because I need your protection. So I guess Goomba called her to get that protection. From since that time, he haven't been the Jaguar, and he's been gone ever since. I said, okay. And we ended the phone call. So clearly, governess is not a fan of Jaguar. So I don't know why she called her again, because she had threatened that woman. And governess was waiting for her. She warned her, don't call my life anymore. Don't show your face up in here anymore. If you do, you're going to see what's going to happen. So Jaguar decided to call her about Goomba to ask her about her husband. 
And who told her to do that? Now she unleashed the wrath of the governess now. Now she cast several spells on her. Guys, drop your comments. I'm over and out. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so as yet. I'll see you all in the next one. I'm over and out. Thanks for watching.